Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today is Sunday um, and for a bit of context it is T minus 13 days until I move out of the flat which is very sad but that also means that I need to do a lot of packing between now and then. So I want to start that process today with you guys because I personally love watching organizational kind of videos so I'm really hoping that you guys do as well. Yesterday I dropped Owen off at the airport. I don't know if you guys know that Owen, because I don't know, I, okay, I filmed some stuff but I haven't edited it or put it together yet. That is my job for this afternoon and until then I don't even know if that's going to be a video because I don't know if it's going to make sense on its own but I'm going to give it a crack and see. But if not, if you guys haven't seen that video which would have come out before this one, basically Owen went on holiday to Melbourne, not Melbourne, to Australia for five weeks and he went to Gold Coast, Newcastle, Sydney and Melbourne. And he loved it so much that he has decided to move to Melbourne as of yesterday. Well, not he decided a while ago, but he moved yesterday. So he was home for nine days, um, packed up his stuff, said goodbye to everyone. And yeah, he left yesterday. I dropped him off at the airport at like three o'clock. Um, so yeah, he's just spent his first night as a Mel... What do they call Mel... Melbourneians? That doesn't really sound right. Melbourneians. So yeah, he's got a job over there, which he starts tomorrow. So yeah, very excited for him. Obviously super sad that we're having to do long distance, but we've been doing long distance for two years of our three and a half year relationship. So it's fine. We've we got it sorted. Back to regular programming. I, yeah, move out of here in two weeks and I've been getting so many questions about where am I moving to? Where am I going? What am I going to be doing? I have the answers for you because now that Owen knows what he's doing, I can now know what I'm doing. So I'm moving back home to Auckland to my parents' house and I will be sticking with the job that I currently have with the social media agency. So, feeling relieved that I know what's happening with my life. I need to get packing. It's kind of awkward because it's like we didn't move out for like two weeks, but I need to start the process now because I'm into working full time for the next two weeks. Love that. Oh, also, update. I finished uni. I have a degree. There you go. So that's fun. I finished on Wednesday, like just gone, and it was weird. It was just a random Wednesday doing a multi choice quiz in my room, finished the quiz, and all of a sudden I was finished a three year degree. So that's fun. I'm talking out here because Rachel's still asleep and she can probably hear me and she's probably not actually asleep. But I need to go to my room and start packing. I think I'm going to start with like the wardrobe because it's a lot of winter clothes that I obviously know I won't need for the next two weeks. So it's been like 20 degrees every day, which is great. Also, my parents are stopping by on their way back from their little camper van trip. Um, so they'll be here like around lunchtime and I'm hoping, because I have a camper van, that I'll, if I'm quick with my packing, they'll actually be able to take some of it home with them. We've got a moving truck for move out day but i own like i own like pretty much everything you see so it's gonna be um <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting to see i don't know i sent mum like the trucks and i was like just choose one that dad's happy to drive but i don't know how big the truck is <laughs> so until it turns up i'm not actually gonna know how much it's gonna fit in it but yeah it needs to fit like two beds a couch dining table tv or well, tv will probably go in my car because i don't want it to break um like coffee table rugs bedroom furniture clothes but yeah a lot of stuff as well as like all of the kitchen stuff like all the glasses the plates the containers the jug the kettle everything so also i think my mum is quietly stoked that she is getting to adopt a smeg toaster and kettle but when i move out of home i will in fact be taking it with me let's get packing progress has been made and I'm absolutely stoked about it. I've moved it all into the garage because Danny is not here today so this is normally where her car parks. Mum and dad are on their way here now and should be here in like 
an hour-ish. They can take some stuff. I don't think they can take this much stuff, but whatever they can't take, I'll just put aside and take it back in my car next weekend. Just to start the process, because yeah, I just don't know how big this truck's gonna be. This is the cute pile that we have. We have the artwork, some random miscellaneous stuff, shoe racks, Christmas tree, dresses, clothes, you name it. It's pretty much in the pile. The worst part about all of this is that my room looks completely the same. Other than, I mean, it looks like, it doesn't look like I've taken any clothes out, which is a bit embarrassing, but I've taken obviously the shoe rack and stuff from up there. I've left those ones up there.